I believe in freedom. Everyone has self-determination. Whether or not they think they do. Because sometimes we're pretending that we do not. But we can reclaim our self-determination. And I had a whole video about self-determination. And of course I'll point to it in the, in the, in the description. And that's where we begin. To know that it's our determination and our responsibility to move through life the way that we move through life and the way that we create for ourselves and but a lot of times when we begin our self-determination journey and our responsibility journey we are not in freedom freedom is a bigger project and it has to be made and created and for most of us if not all of us it is a lifetime project because there are layers and layers and layers. But you can get quite far, because, at least in comparison to other people, because most people are not living in freedom. They're living in slavery. And um, so when you take strides toward freedom, you'll feel very, wow, for you know, if you, um, because it's nothing that you've had before. It's nothing that you've had before. And so, and that's great. That's, that's wonderful. But you will find as you continue to go that you'll continue to have tensions and questions and get deeper and get more clear on what is and is not slavery. You'll be like, oh, I never thought about that before. Okay, and I can't even tell you because I'm still on the journey myself. Freedom seems like it's a job of being free from other people, which it is. But again, which, which I said in self-determination, it's not really about them because they have no, ultimately they have no power over you. That's the whole point. So freedom beca becomes essentially a wrestle with yourself. The amount of freedom that you'll allow yourself to have and that you'll have the courage to create. And uh, sometimes it's more than courage. Sometimes we just don't understand and we have to... There, there are some wrestles to understand what, where does my freedom lie in this? Now, I want to talk about one thing that freedom is not, and then I'm going to talk about what freedom basically is. Freedom is not having everything you want and a lot of options. That is not freedom. Um, first of all, let's talk about options. So, having a lot of options. In our society, there are a boatload of options, but there's no freedom. So. I don't want to say no, but you know, it's hard to come by. So options and freedom are not necessarily the same thing at all. And you can have so many options and be actually, that can dampen your freedom, okay? And I'm not saying options are bad or good, they're neutral. You can handle as many options as you can handle. You can create as many options as you can create, but that's a diff different subject, okay? And it's not a subject of my deepest beliefs. I could teach about options, but it wouldn't be in my belief category. You know, like, I believe in options. It's like, it's not even pretty. <laughs> okay? And some of your greatest freedom moments are when there is only one option or only two options. In fact, freedom is just one option. It's the option of your freedom, right? So it's not about having a lot of clothes or a lot of money or a lot of, you know, any kind. It Options can be a an artifact of freedom or you'll find yourself going into pathways where there are different kinds of options than you hadn't thought of before. But it's not a collection of a volume amount of things, okay? Not that that's bad or good, but that's just not what freedom is. So don't count your freedom by your options, okay? The second thing is getting everything you ever wanted. Again, kind of another subject, but this earth life is not an exercise in getting your expectations and wants met. <laughs> that will fail so many times. And if you go after what you want purely, and I'm not saying that that, again, that's not bad, it's not good, it's neutral, and you have power to get many things that you want, but if you count your freedom by it, again, by a collection of things that you've done or that you have or that you are, you're gonna miss the freedom. You're gonna be enslaved to your want. 
again, not that you can't go after some things that you want, but there's more treasure to this life than simply that thread of being, okay? And you will find your freedom whether or not your expectations are, what are met, whether or not your wants are, supp are supplied or you can make them yourself, okay? It's a different subject. So what freedom is, is freedom from oppression, it's freedom from bloodshed, it's freedom from violence, being violated and being a violator, okay? It's freedom from slavery. Freedom is when you begin to take your self-determination, your 100% responsibility, your integrity, your kindness, your uh, your you're participating in your re redemption and the redemption of others to the degree that they want your help. You can't do it for them, but you can, we can help each other out. You're starting to create this freedom and then it, as you continue on you onward in the other beliefs that I have, you continue to open that. Now, at first, freeing yourself from oppression and bloodshed and vi violation feels like you're freeing yourself from the ways that people are oppressing and violating and violating you and and that's right but as time goes by you also realize that you have to free yourself from all of the oppressions that you're affecting all of the crucifixions that you're trying to do to the people and yourself free yourself from being a violator okay it's this it's this two sides of the same coin and it's hard to extricate that sometimes because Sometimes we want to be free, and so we turn to bloodshed because we think that if we shed blood, we'll be free from the people that were doing something to us. And if you've heard anything I've ever said on this, p on this channel at all, you can't go that way. Don't go that way because you may free yourself from their oppression, but you will not have freed yourself from yours that you're doing to yourself. You will be a man or woman of blood and oppression. That's not freedom. But, and, and so you can see that freedom and, and this journey of harmlessness, although I will talk about harmlessness as a, another subject, but kind of they're hand in hand. That you allow for yourself and others the independence of being. And it's not that we don't need each other, but first we have to not be subject to uh, what there is. And freedom can be also be a matter of preparation. It can be a matter of gaining strength and skills in many areas of life. For example, it, and it doesn't have to be anything that is like uh, malef um, maleficent, I don't know, <laughs> um, toward us, like um, understanding the, the forces that are in this world, like um, a natural disaster or something. At first, this is a matter of fear, but we can prepare f what to do and also have a preparation inside of us that when we pass through a natural disaster, we pass through it as if it was just, that's just what it is. It's just what it is, and it, there's an opportunity beyond it. And so you cultivate some skills in your mind and your heart and in your energy, and you cultivate some skills in the world and then you're prepared for what happens. Not necessarily to, maybe you have enough strength and preparation to completely change a situation. Maybe it's more that you have to pass through it with a minimum amount of fear. But it's, but you're not, um, but you're free because you're free from your fear. You're free from, um, it's not that you're being enslaved by the hurricane. It's that you, you say, uh, Master Hurricane, what do you want to teach me? You know, you understand that Everything is here for your blessing and for your teaching. And so, again, a lot of that enslaving is taking things off of your own mind and your own energy and how you approach things. It's not, what again, what everybody's doing to you, although that may be part of it because you need to take withdraw your consent from it and say, you're not going to do that to me anymore. Not because you're controlling them, because you don't want to be controlling another person, you want to let them to be their independent being as well. 
but you're you're taking back control of your own body, your own self, and saying where it should be, when it should be, how it should be living. And you will feel an inner peace. But if you, again, if you wait for everything to be perfectly all right, like that there's never going to be a natural disaster. We live on a planet. That's what the planet does. Um, or there's never going to be an argument or your car is never going to break down. If you think freedom leads to that, it doesn't. But it, what freedom leads to is the sense that your car is free, your the other person is free, they're free to make an argument with you, the planet is free to be what it is, but you're free inside. And um, there's a saying, come what may and love it. You are just perfectly here with whatever is happening. And you're moving forward with your skills and with the way that you're as much freedom as you can but you also don't condemn yourself for not being in a certain position or you're just doing what you can in the time and place that you can do it. And, um, and I, you know, I don't know where the end of freedom is actually because I haven't gotten there. So maybe I don't know as much as I'm talking about, but there's some things to think about right there. And, um, that, you know, again, being careful about what you participate in. Eventually, of course, freedom is going to lead you to participate in the collective freedom of all of us. Like, if I'm participating in being an employee all of the time, maybe that's not freedom. Maybe being an employee is not a freedom. Maybe it's the next attention that you need to give it to, like how to create your own business or how to create money without being an employee. Like being told to be somewhere at the same time every day. That's you know, that could be an aspect of freedom um, as soon as you're ready for it. Or the kinds of ways that we educate ourselves, more freedom in that, or more freedom in the way that people can uh, participate in all ways in our society. Um, withdraw your consent and your participation in some of the larger structures that are in the world. And again, that's not necessarily going to be instant. Maybe the way that we feed ourselves, maybe free some cows from having to be slaughtered and just eat vegetables. You know, that, that might be something. I'm not saying I haven't gotten there yet, but there, there's different ways that we can notice where there's oppression and bloodshed and stop participating in that. There's going to be layers, okay, for ourselves and for our whole world, okay? So I believe in freedom. And that's what I've been trying to create for a long time and still working on it. And I think I'm still under a lot of misunderstandings and blindnesses. But that's what I'm working on and I invite you to take the freedom journey.